Fishing fever has taken over Fortnite Island. Players young and old have been bitten by the fishing bug and just can't keep out of the water. Season 4 has introduced a variety of new fish, with some pretty great power-ups that help players out throughout the game. Fishing was first introduced into the game in Chapter 2, being a small mechanic that, until now, was largely ignored. It's great that Epic Games is developing it into something more, as it's a fun element of the game that makes Fortnite Island feel like an actual living, breathing place, and not just a battleground. We here at Newscape Games have been trying to fill up our fish catalog with every single fishy friend we could find. In doing so, we've developed some great techniques that we think will save you time and energy as you hunt down the mythic Midas fish that has yet to be caught. These techniques are sure to fill up your fish roster in record time, so be sure to stick around till the end to soak up every little bit of info we've cultivated. We might even have a hint as to where and how to capture the Midas fish, so you know you want to hear that. Before we dive into the best fishing tips and tricks, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, click that bell so you never miss a video, and leave a comment about what you want us to cover next. Also, don't forget to use code Newscape Pro in the item shop. This is Newscape Games your source for Fortnite news, leaks, and theories. Guide to Fish Season 4 introduced a plethora of new and exciting fish for you to catch. It even provides an index of fish for you to catalog your catches. It may seem like a daunting task to fill up the entire log, but don't worry, we're here to help. You could drop into Battle Lab and fill up your roster, or drop into a match. Either mode lets you fill in your fish index. There are 38 regular fish for you to catch, with number one reserved for the Midas flopper and number 40 for the Vendetta flopper. Many of them have specific biomes and times for where and when they can be caught. The first four fishes can be caught anywhere. They are the standard floppers and slurfish you've been catching all chapter. From there, things get a little bit more complicated with fishes being designated to mountainous, swamp, coastal, and forest biomes. In addition, there are a few that can only be caught at night or with a pro fishing rod. For the mountain region, you'll need to travel to the south portion of the map, Lazy Lake being one of the better landing spots to catch these fish. The fish that can be caught in the mountainous areas are White Spotted Spicy Fish, number 11, Atlantic Hop Flopper, number 17, the Purple Slurp Fish, number 7, and the Peely Jellyfish, number 23. The fishes that can be caught in the swamp around the Slurp Factory are the Yellow Slurp Fish, number 6, Southern Spicy Fish, number 12, Chinook Hop Flopper, number 18, and the Cuddle Jellyfish, number 22. Of special note is the White Slurp Fish, which can only be caught in the swamp at night. Found in the coastal waters surrounding the island are Sky Blue Spicy Fish, number 13, Chum Hop Flopper, number 19, Purple Jellyfish, number 24, Black Striped Shieldfish, number 26, and the Blue Small Fry, number 39. The Raven Thermal Fish, number 32, can only be caught with a pro fishing rod, and number eight is the Black Slurp Fish, and can only be found on a coastal region at night. Moving away from the coast, we have the forest biome with the Drift Spicy Fish, number 10, Coho Hop Flopper, number 16, Green Shield Fish, number 28, Green Thermal Fish, number 30, and the Green and Red Thermal Fish, number 33. Finally, the Dark Vanguard Jellyfish, number 21, and the Black Small Fry, number 38, can only be found at night. The Pink Shield Fish, number 27, needs a pro fishing rod. All the other fishes can be found anywhere, at any time. We know that's a lot to soak in, so here are all the fish for the mountainous region, the coastal region, the forest region, the swamp region, here are all the fish you can catch anywhere, and all the fish you can only catch at night. Happy fishing. Motor Boat Fishing. This tip is one of the best we've found so far, and we're more than happy to share it with you. You can use the rockets included on the motorboat to blow up fishing spots and get all the fish within that spot. You'll even get all the random loot from that fishing location. This is extremely useful during a match, as it'll allow you to get all the fishes, 
select the useful ones, and speed away before anyone has a chance to attack you. It's even better during a team match as you don't even have to switch spots. You speed up next to the loot and grab it. The one drawback to this technique is that it will not count towards your fishing guide. Which makes sense. Only truly casting a line and catching the fish should count towards your fishing log. Fishing with Doom In a similar vein to using the boat rockets to blow up the fish, you can also use Dr. Doom's arcane gauntlets to blast those fishies out of the water. This might not be the most effective way to fish, because you'll have to take on Doom himself in order to secure the power-ups. This is most helpful, though, whenever you do find yourself with the Doom Gauntlets. Blasting those fishes can provide for quick healing, shields, or even a useful gun. Sometimes, even the mighty Doom needs a little fishy friend, or rather, a fishy snack. Best Fishing Locations You came here for fishing tips, and we have the best locations for you to fish. South of Holly Hedges is a beautiful beach that is perfect for filling your fishing log. There are several fishing spots for you to catch your ocean fishes. There are numerous fishes in the log that can only be caught in ocean waters, and this is the perfect spot for that. Not only is it a great place to fish, but it's secluded enough that you probably won't bump into any enemies. There are plenty of fishing rods there, meaning it's the perfect drop point. Another often overlooked fishing location is the river flowing through weeping woods. This is the best location to hop on a motorboat and ride up the river stopping at the numerous fishing spots to get your prey. There's an upgrade bench located near the trailer park for you to upgrade your fishing rod into a pro rod. The only drawback is that it is far less secluded than other locations. You're certain to encounter enemy players here, but if you have a motorboat, you should be able to easily evade them. This spot is also great as it lets you catch all those forest specific fishes for your log. The other best place to fish is Lazy Lake. This location is the best place to get all your mountain fishes. It's a very hot landing spot, so it is advised that you don't land directly in the POI and actually go for the lake house to the west of the POI. In Lazy Lake, there's an upgrade bench perfect for securing your pro fishing rod. These locations are the best because they provide players with an accessible fishing rod, plenty of chests, and enough fishing spots that you're bound to find the elusive fish you're looking for. It also provides you with a unique biome to catch fish and a possible location to upgrade your fishing rod into a pro fishing rod. Harpoon Gun The Harpoon Gun can provide you all the benefits of a standard fishing rod with none of the hassle. Harpoon Guns give players a fast and effective way to fish. You don't have to wait to cast out your line. Just simply launch your harpoon deep into an unsuspecting fish and rip them out of the water. The benefit of using the harpoon is that not only is it fast, but it also counts towards your fishing log, meaning you can show off all your harpooned catches. The biggest drawback to using the harpoon gun is that it only comes with 10 harpoons to launch at opponents and fish. Some of those harpoons are best left to use in combat, grabbing your enemy and drawing them closer to your deadly shotgun. As for fishing, it's just yet another tool in the fisherman's arsenal. Crash Pad Another item you might be surprised can help you fish is the Crash Pad. Throwing this bad boy down on a fishing spot will cause all the fish in that particular location to rise to the surface, along with any random loot in that spot. Now this might be a bug in the game, so try it out before it gets patched up. It might not be the most economical or trustworthy way to fish, but it sure is satisfying to see all the fish float to the top after slamming down a crash pad. Crash pads come in three to an item, so using one simply to fish is not exactly the best use for it. You also don't get to log any of the fish you catch, which is kind of a bummer. Grenade. So let's say you really hate fish, to the point that every time you see a fishing location, your blood boils turning you into the She-Hulk. Well then we've got a way to fish for you. Grenades will blast those unsuspecting fishes right out of the water for you to collect. Now again, since you aren't physically catching the fish individually, they will not appear in your log. This is an ill-advised way to fish during a match. A loud grenade will give away your location to any player in earshot, and will only benefit you a couple fish in return. 
We advise to only use this technique in the rare moments you can also deal damage to an opposing player and the fish. Otherwise, grenades are best left for destroying enemy builds. Motorboat Getaway Here's a tip for those intrepid fishermen that are trying to fill their fishing log during the heat of a match. If you use a boat, you can make a quick getaway after catching that prize flopper. The boat can easily speed off towards safety, and the onboard rockets can give you some covering fire as you escape. What makes this technique extra useful is that oftentimes while fishing, the storm is an afterthought. You're so captivated by the beauty and majesty of the water that you forget the incoming danger. All you need to do to get to safety is speed down the waterways with your trusty motorboat. Thermal Flopper This is an important trick to keep in mind while you're fighting for the Victory Royale. The Thermal Flopper is an exceptionally useful tool in combat, and saving it for just the right moment is essential for its effectiveness. Since the vaulting of the flare gun, getting information on the location of enemy players has been near impossible. It's only with the very useful Thermal Flopper that you can get a good sense of where other players are. When eaten, the Thermal Flopper gives you a thermal vision that highlights heat in bright white. We recommend saving this until you enter combat, or towards the end of the game, when only the most skillful players are left. Knowing where your enemy is is a huge tactical advantage, and not one to be wasted willy-nilly. So save it for just the right time, and you'll come out on top. The Midas Flopper Lastly, we have some info where you can find the infamous Midas Flopper. All you have to do is... Did you really think I'd just let you find the Midas Flopper that easily? No, that will not be happening today. You will have to scour the map to find the Midas Flopper, and even then, no one else has seen it. Are you even sure that such a fish exists? The number one spot on your fishing log will remain forever empty. <laughs> Are we on? Sorry for the interruption. Well, Midas isn't totally wrong, but he also isn't completely right. With the new update, Fortnite has added in the Vendetta Flopper and the Midas Flopper into the game. The Midas Flopper just has a zero chance of spawning, while the Vendetta Flopper can be caught anywhere and you just need a pro fishing rod. When eaten, the Vendetta Flopper will mark enemy positions like the vaulted flare gun. The Midas Flopper is said to turn your entire inventory into legendary weapons, which sounds too good to be true. If the Midas Flopper is caught though, we will be sure to let you know. Those are the 10 hidden fishing tips and tricks we've discovered throughout season four. Do you have tips that we didn't mention? Leave them as a comment below. If you have info on where to find Midas or Vendetta floppers, leave it below and we'll be sure to investigate it. We here at Newscape Games are committed to bringing you the juiciest Fortnite news, the freshest leaks, and the most bonkers theories. Share this video with your fellow gamers and make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you never miss out on a video. Thank you for watching.